Hey everybody, it is me. I am uh, doing a, a mail opening here. I've been getting some vintage stuff as well as a current item or two. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I have not yet opened them. I've got one, two, three, and the vintage one is four. So I'm going to open those up for you and I already opened one because I knew that it would be a non-vintage card although it is one of my favorites I grew up in the junk era especially in the 90s and some of my favorite cards were the Diamond Kings and this year they are making a comeback and they look the uh, Panini has done a great job making the Gallery of Stars cards look like the old school Diamond Kings with the sketches so here's the Brian Dozier that is just fantastic. That is beautiful. I absolutely love that. Look at that. That is awesome. So that's that one. And then I do have uh, do have some other vintage here too. Most of my vintage is graded. Not all of it, but most of it. This one's uh, this one's pretty cool too. This is a uh, he's a Hall of Famer. Mordecai Brown. Mordecai Peter Centennial Brown and the back pretty nice actually if you look at it it's uh graded a one it's poor I'm looking at it and it does have some creases I don't know if you guys can see those all that great but there's that Hall of Famer though legit authentic very very cool got another one right here we'll see what this is I'm trying to see where the where to rip so that I don't damage the card at all. Okay, here's another one. Oh, this is a, uh, here we go. So this was, uh, this is another Hall of Famer. This one I showed off um, in a couple of different groups that I had gotten. This one is the manager of the New York Giants. He was Christy Mathewson's manager, John McGraw. The T206, that is awesome. Back is Piedmont, blue. Really, a uh, really cool card. I'm definitely going to send that one in to get graded. It's not, I basically just want it graded. I want it slabbed because I'm, I'm not working on the slab set, but I've, I've got a bunch of SGC ones that I'm going to get in here soon. So um, I kind of want to uniformity as much as I can with that so and I've got a card that I have to uh, do a little do a little playing with to open here they got it taped shut on me so I'm gonna sneak it out of the box here okay okay yep so this one is another um, t206 that's from this set this guy is, this is before he became infamous in baseball history. This is a member of the Black Sox, and it was the starting pitcher in three of the World Series games. He was played by David Strathairn in the movie Eight Men Out. Eddie Sicotti. Again, just an important figure in baseball history. It is in terrible condition, as you can tell. But it is an Eddie Sicotti. I paid quite a bit of money for those. I'll be, I'm not going to tell people exactly what I paid. But I'll say this. Um, even though it's in terrible condition. I got this one for less than $60. And I got this one for under $45. So if you're looking for vintage cards. You can definitely find them on eBay for cheap. You just have to uh, kind of know where to look on eBay. And the last package is going to be the big one. That is this guy. This is a nice thick package that I got from in from a seller. I know exactly what it is, but I'm super excited to get it. It's got a bunch of packing peanuts in it, so I'm going to dump those out, so excuse me for that. And he must have uh he must he put my order into like three different uh, three different sets here I guess or maybe four even. There's there's a third pack and 
I guess there's a fourth pack in here too, so that's uh it's pretty awesome as well. So yeah, there's so there's uh I got four different packs here. Let me peel the packing peanuts away here and I will uh show you guys what they I'll open these up here for you momentarily. You just get all the packing peanuts off of here. All right, so obviously you guys can tell I'm a big vintage fan. I recently went on a little bit of a spending spree, and I was able to purchase, in addition to the Mordecai Three Finger Brown, I was also able to purchase a bunch of um, low-grade, authentic SGC slabbed T205 cards most of them are gold border um but some of them are not but i've got four packs of them here i think i got 16 of them 12 of them something like that maybe only 11 but i got four packs of sgc cards here so i'm gonna go ahead and just open these up one by one and then i will do a final recap at the end so package number one is all right so he he not only has them in um he not only has them slabbed he also has them in protection so that's good as well he's got three of these here i've got two piedmont cigarettes and a sweet caporal i have a wilbur good gold border i have a john kling gold border and i have a card um that's kind of special to me it's an arthur devlin card and the reason i like that is obviously my first name is arth is uh devlin not arthur devlin so here is this one this is the wilbur good sweet caporal t205 he played for the boston rustlers look at that that's pretty pretty cool so there's that one and the back is pretty decent, actually. So there's that. Got John Kling, again, um, Chicago Cubs. He was a teammate of Tinker Evers and Chance back when they won the World Series in 07 and 08. There's the 1911 card. Authentic. There's the blue background. I love it. And this one, actually, if you take a look, it's got four really nice corners to it, which is not something you get a lot in the in the uh, T206s. Same with this one. This one's authentic, but if it had see, but if it had been graded, it probably would have graded probably a, maybe a three. I mean, it's really nice. There are no creases or anything on there. No creases, no spider creases, no dings, nothing. So that's that's really nice. And then the uh, Arthur Devlin, that's a really nice card as well. That one is a little bit rougher. It's got a little bit of damage here on the side. It's kind of hard to see, but there's that one. Arthur Devlin and the back, the Piedmont. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, there's, there's that one. All right, package number two. Alright, we've got, let's see what we've got here. I've got a, two, both, uh, two more, two more, um, T205s. These are all going to be T205s. These are gold borders. These are sweet caporals. I've got Charles Doonan of the, of the, uh, Philadelphia Phillies. And there's that. Got the nice red back again. Four pretty, well, two pretty good corners. This corner is not ideal. It's hard to see. I'm sorry. There's a lot of glare in here. My lighting isn't isn't conducive, but uh, yeah, it's. You can see the back there. So that's pretty nice. Got another one. Um, Beals Becker. Now this one does have a little bit of a crease in it. It's got four corners. They're not great, but again, SGC authentic. 
T1911, T205, gold border. I did buy a couple of non-gold borders too, so here's this. So that's pretty cool. Pack three. The seller packed them really well. Um, I actually got a really good deal on these. I bought all of these from the same guy. And I didn't pay more than, I think, $27 for any one card. I got, with, ta with tax and shipping, I ended up paying... I think I got 11 cards for like $247. It was like, it ended up being like $22 a card or something. It was, I could not pass it up. He had a bunch of buy it nows and, or best offers. And I just shot him some offers and we haggled a little bit on a few of them and were able to come to a deal. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool. I've got, uh, three sweet caporals. These are all gold borders. I have William Bailey, John McLean, not from uh, not Die Hard, and uh, Harry Gaspar. So here is T two hundred five nine. Uh, I'm sorry, nineteen eleven Sweet Caporal T two hundred five William Bailey of the St. Louis Browns. So there's that, and there's that. You can see the back. The back looks pretty clean too. Yep. So. Uh, John McLean, 1911 Sweet Caporal T205, Cincinnati Reds. There's that. You can see that right there. And I love history, and I love the history of the game. And just knowing that I own cards that are... I mean, this these cards are all 107 years old is uh, pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty cool. And this is T205 Harry Gaspar of the Cincinnati Reds. So there's that. And that one's in really, really, really nice shape, too. There's a very small stain on the back, but there's no creasing or anything. It's hard to see in the photo. Well, I guess there is a spider crease on there. Um, and it's slightly off-centered, as you can see, but still authentic. Well worth the 20 bucks for the card of its age. Got one pack left, and then we're just about done. Thanks for uh, sticking with me. I know we're at the 12 and a half minute mark here, so I appreciate it. Very rarely do I ever get to show off just cool vintage stuff, so um, always kind of fun when I can do that. I've got a couple of uh, Piedmont cigarettes ones, and then I've got a polar bear one, which is actually pretty cool. So we're going to do the Piedmont cigarettes first. It's a 1911 Gold Border Piedmont Cigarettes, T205 Robert Ewing. Again, off-centered, but still pretty nice. The backs on these, anybody who collects these in the T206s knows that the backs on these tend to be gone because people would put them in notebooks or photo albums or scrap or photo scrapbooks, whatever you want to call them, and the backs would just get torn off when they would take them out of the album. So to find cards that have no stains and no rips and no discoloration on the back for 20 bucks a piece, it was it was a no-brainer on my part. So this one is the uh, Piedmont Cigarettes. Now this one is not graded authentic. Obviously it is authentic. However, um, it does say it is given a grade of 10 or poor, which is a 1 on a scale of 10. SGC grades two different ways. They do um, out of 100 and then out of 10. So the Topsy Hartle, again, it's legit. It's hard to see, but it does say utility outfielder written right there. So somebody that had the card wrote it on there probably over 100 years ago. There's the back. Again, the back is really nice, so I don't really care too much. Um, it, it's a low-grade card. It's got a spider crease going across the middle of it, but other than that, it's still very, very cool. And the uh, Howard Kamnitz Pittsburgh Pirates Polar Bear. This is graded at 20, and it's a fair. It's in fair condition. One and a half out of ten. So there's that. This one, the back is actually a little bit stain stained. It's hard to see, but there's some staining right there. There's a little bit right down here. So, but yeah, there's that. So Howard Cabinets. So, yeah, I was able to, I was able to add 
all of these to my collection. They were all SGC. They were all T205 1911 gold borders. Howard Cabinets. Topsy Hartle. Robert Ewing. Harry Gaspar. John McLean. Not from Die Hard. William Bailey. Beals Becker. Charles Doonan. Arthur Devlin. Wilbur Good. John Kling. Saved my three best ones for last. My last T205 gold border to show you guys. The Hall of Famer. Obviously, it's graded a 1 out of 10 or 10 out of 100. Poor condition. Mordecai Three Finger Centennial Brown. Still, it's a Hall of Famer. It's very, very cool. So there's that. And there is the back as well. You can see some a little bit of staining. Hard to see in the photo, but it's really super creased. There's a crease that runs right along here. There's another crease that runs down this way, but... It is authentic, and he's a Hall of Famer, so I'm very happy to own that. Again, another Hall of Famer, T206. John McGraw, Christy Mathewson's manager, one of the probably the winning one of the winningest managers of all time behind uh, behind the Connie Mack from the Philadelphia Athletics, and Eddie Sicotti, who helped throw the 1919 World Series. This is his card when he was with. Boston America in the American uh, League. So this is his Boston card before he came to Chicago. So that is my uh, that is my recap of my mail day for the last few days. It has been a pretty epic uh, week for mail. I love getting the vintage stuff. It's always nice to add to my um, pre World War One collection. I didn't have a collection until these, but I do now. So it was uh, it was a lot of fun added. I do have some more coming in, so stay tuned. And uh, thank you guys very much. I appreciate you. Have a good day, and uh, whatever team you root for, I hope they do well this year. Thanks. <laughs>